I'm glad to see you again. I am Abdul Saria, and in this video, I am going to show you this backplate drawing. So it's divided into three parts: uh, first, blocking in, and then modeling, and finally, we will end with the detailing part. This video is going to be 30 to 35 minutes long. So if you are interested one, then make sure you are with your sketchbook and your pencils. So I am using a 2.0 mechanical pencil and a 2B wooden pencil with a long stainer. Starting with the blocking first, to establish the width of this drawing we need these two points. So this is our left point and this is our right point. So now just connect these two dots with a straight line these are going to be the baseline and this approximately this is the top of this triangle just connect from top to bottom and this approximately the top and we are just making joining these diagonal lines uh, now there is an another triangle that is connecting the another point of our baseline just connect these two so here is going to be our finger is going to be placed right here and the end of the heel is going to placed here exactly here so this is the negative space where I am just connecting it and and as shown in the top of the left diagram, this is the line which is parallel with the up line. So we just connect it properly and then move forward. So now, so if we, so now if we divide this diagonal line into three parts, this is the one, two, and this is the three. So this point this point here will be the joint where the leg is joining with the foot so and we are just connecting these two dots and make sure that this is a proper making a proper triangle like the diagram and now there is another line which is going to be parallel with the above line little parallel not exactly like this and we just connect the wrist over here this is all about the blocking section of the blocking part of this drawing and we'll move forward for the detailing part before moving forward the detailing part is very important for any kind of drawing that you need to very much clear the blocking section and then go forward for the detailing in the modeling process doing a separation from the dark family and the light family so here we need to look the right shape and the right angle from the given picture so here from the top there is a line coming down and making a shape like this so here is a straight line that is coming down and from there just approximately another coming down line like this and a little turn there is a straight line that is the turning and from there is the foot round shape which is identified from here there is an uh, shape the heel shape is round so just making the angle right coming down and from there the shape is like this connecting this one cross checking the back side of the foot and then there is a straight line which is separating the feet from the, its cast holder like a platform and here it comes 
the fingers the fingers are in a straight line from there I just need to erase to clear make the picture clear and here it comes uh, another finger the section for the all other fingers five fingers over there so it's a little finger coming down joining this the shadow shape and this is the position establish the all fingers into its right place and this is just make sure uh, where will come the round this is the round section so I have a needed eraser and just clear the all other lines that we don't need anymore and make the picture neat and clean every time and then move forward for the next stage from here I'm just uh, making the all other details little details that is uh, making the object more clear before we before shut it out or the making the or putting the value exact value of its light and shade areas this is a little more round area and just making the contour point soft from these blocky shapes it is as you need it is more round shape there so now making the finger properly the concentrating as we can see the top left picture the fingers are line accordingly and then the nails and the shadow parts here we just need to observe and um, do the same that you can see in the picture So in this shredding and detailing part, we will shred it out with the exact value. I'm just putting the exact value uh, with graphite. So this is the most darkest areas. I'm just first covering the most darkest areas with the single value and then move forward for the half tone. And we don't need to make the highlighted areas because the because our page is already brightened enough so we'll work on dark sections so just put the value accordingly so if you are doing along with me so don't forget to tag me or send me in various social medias you can find my social media handles in the link in the description box
so I just feel the dark value and now I'm just going to feel the half tones and I define the cast shadows the most darkest dark areas the terminator lines and this is the half tone areas Here I'm just working on the finishing level, the very last. Make the picture clear as much as possible.
thank you for watching this video hope this video was an informative video for you and uh, if you want to get this type of videos again make sure you hit the subscribe button and thank you